So, yeah, my best friend's moving away and is causing a lot of uh, abandonment issues. Um, not just with her, but other people. Because uh, I've talked about it before on the channel how I, I don't reach out to friends, so they don't reach out to me. When I constantly try to reach out to them and when I, it was I just wanted to see if they truly rocked with me and it's clearly they, they don't so um so I'm gonna be losing a big part of uh my life uh she's been my friend for over 10 years and I found a new friend that we call each other best friends but this best friend has been like for over 10 years I've known her for a long time and it sucks because not only that I'm missing my mom my mom's birthday was the 19th so it's like I just feel like abandoned you know I feel like not only from people that I thought were my friends, but just even my best friend. And uh, I'm thankful I'm getting some, I'm getting some new friends. Um, I'll be able to see often, but it's, it's just hard. It's a hard transition, especially because you've been friends with this person a long time. And they're moving away far. Like, I, I live in Pennsylvania. They're moving to Florida. So. It's just rough. Because I have abandonment issues. And when I'm trying to get closer to the people, they just don't want to get closer to me. And it's clear. But they don't say it. Because they, they don't want to be rude about it. But it's, it's clear. It's clear as day that I put way too much uh, time into... Being friends with some people uh, versus them being friends back. So uh, I just I just don't want I don't want to beg for friends. I don't if they don't want to be a part of my life. It hurts, but I'd rather them not be in my life. It's and it's, it's going to suck losing someone that understands me so well. And knows me a lot more than anybody else, really. Um, and some other stuff, too, that's personal. But you probably catch my drift on that. Yeah. So, there is that, those types of benefits. But now I'm going to not have that either. It just sucks because it's like, yes, I'm lonely with friends, but like a whole, like, I don't know. I, I forgot what I was saying, but uh, my friendship, how can I get a relationship if I can't even get friends? That's how I feel. Um... Like, there's this one friend that has an ex-husband that's raped her, um, or at least sexually assaulted her. Um, I, I, I don't want to make that a whole story time. I really don't. It's not funny at all. Uh, like, she'd wake up and he's on top of her. It's... She'd wake up and he's on top of her and stuff. So, yeah, it's not cool. Uh, plus, it's no one's business, but no one's going to know who this is anyway. But I I keep on waiting and waiting for this person. Like, it's been about six months or so, but she was supposed to have these people out of her house so she could move back into her own house. Um, I haven't... We were supposed to... Uh, spend our birthdays together. We have the same birthday, but 
she didn't show, so she must be in a mental hospital again. It sucks. She's going through all this, but it's it's to a point where it's like, do I need all this baggage, like, in a relationship? Like, I'm a loyal person, but it's like, if I find someone else, I'll feel guilty. I'll be like, I'll have to tell her, like, hey, I found someone else. But at the same time, it's like, it's just... They were supposed to be out of her house by now. And, like, it's not progressing. And, like, this is wasting my time as well. It's like, I, I'm sorry. It's a bad situation. And she can't help it because I guess she's just not... She's not aggress uh, assertive enough to to go through with anything. So it's like... Just, just like a black cloud hanging over my my head with this relationship thing like she's asexual too which is great but it's like it's not great we have this whole situation that's supposed to be resolved already and i'm still just waiting and i haven't heard from her i hope she's okay like she the last couple times she went into mental hospital so that's probably where she is but i'm still kind of worried like she hasn't responded Another friend hasn't responded. And the, the whole, like, abandonment thing is just... It's too much... Too much right now for me. It's just a lot. It's a lot right now. It's... Learning how people truly are. And it's... Trying to accept people moving on. And trying to be patient. And... Like... It sucks because we don't even talk. Like, this me and this girl. We don't even talk. Like... We have nothing to talk about. Like, I don't think it's going to work out as a relationship. Um, we don't talk. We don't... I don't know what to say. I mean... I don't want to talk about my videos all the time. It's just... I just have so much going on right now. And it's... I don't know if I'm starting to get depressed. Like, my friend could tell she was over... She was, she was just like, you know, she said I was moping around. I'm just really tired, too. Uh, but also, I guess I am. Like, I was getting irritated at stuff easier. So that's a sign of uh, depression. But I, I'm okay, guys. This, I think I earned this video. <laughs> I haven't ranted in a while. But I guess the whole theme of everything is like, I just have these abandonment issues. It's like, my mom's gone. My best friend's leaving. It's like, two of the friends I thought were going to be closer friends with me. I haven't heard from them. And one of them I don't even like anymore, honestly. Like, it's to the point where it's like, I don't like him anymore. There was too many things that happened. Um, I don't want to go in detail with this, but I, uh, I don't want people connecting the dots of who it is, but just, <sighs> he, he's doing, like, I just, I just see, like, I just see, like, deceit in like him, I feel like he's making fun of me. And it's like, he might just be being silly or whatever, but I, I, I just don't like him anymore. And it's rare for me to not like somebody. Like even people I had to cut off, I still like them to a degree. Like, but I actively just don't like this person. It's just rare for me. It's like, oh, I actively do not like somebody that's crazy. And some other stuff I've been thinking about, like, no one, there's this guy who ended up ending his life, and I, it sucks, I feel like I wasn't close, close to him, it's, I wish I was closer to him. Um, one day he's like, do you remember me? I'm like, no, and he's like, don't you remember me? And then I just, if I'm not close to somebody, I, 
I have trouble remembering their name and things like that. Um, the point is, he ended up ending his life. I, it sucks because that part of me was like, if I was just there that, to have a little bit of light, well, if I just lied and say, hey, I remember you, you know? But I was too honest and I just, that was like one conversation though. Um, and then my point is everybody showed up for the funeral, but I bet you nobody was there for him when he was going through this. And it makes me so mad. It's like, yeah, it sucks I wasn't closer enough to him, but people that were cl closer that could have done something like reached out to him or did like this whole bullshit of we're adults we don't reach out to each other like fuck that it's like shits like I'm not saying I'm gonna go kill myself but at the same time it just sucks it's like I'm safe guys don't worry it's just that's just an extreme example of like people don't like, like, care about you until you're gone. People don't appreciate you until you're gone. Which is, it's really fucked up. Because so many people could have been in his life that were closer to him. I wasn't close to him. What could have I done? I don't know. But people that were closer to him, all mourning his death, being there for his death but not for his life, just pisses me off. I just have a lot going on in my life. Just too much up here. Way fucking too much. <sighs> and I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad at people for not hitting me up. For not hitting that guy up. For hitting each other up. This, this sucks. But I keep getting told people suck. And, uh, sadly, it's probably going to get worse and worse. And I'm not ready for that. I haven't adjusted to my 20s. My 30s are coming up pretty soon. It's like. Just fucking great. I don't know how to end this video other than. I don't know. I'm not perfect. I'm not trying to be the morally right person saying you should have hung out with him while you could. Like, I get it. Like, some people are busy, but that, that's only like an excuse because my friend my best friend finds time to call me while she's driving from work to her house it's just a little bit for 20 minutes so it's like the whole fucking busy bullshit i, I ain't buying if someone is important to you enough they're they will they'll be a part of your life they care enough about you. It just sucks feeling like no one cares about me. I know people care about me. I know people on YouTube here, my friends on YouTube care about me. And I know there's people in my real life that care about me. But it just, just sucks, man. It's like, I have these abandonment issues and I'm trying to fill this whole, like, from losing my mom and it just will not fill it will not fill no matter how many friends I get if I try to be friends with somebody else and they don't want anything to do with me it shatters me and it feels I just su sucks is it is it wrong <laughs> obviously it's not wrong to want more friends right that's not how dare I like that's like murder you know 
you're, you you want more friends, you're fucking murdering people, man. But, um, I don't know. I can go on and on about this. I just, I don't know what the root of it. I know the root of the issue is because I miss my mom and she's gone. And, like, I miss my stepdad even though I don't want anything to do with him. And I miss my cat that lived there. I literally cried when I saw the cat again because I haven't seen it in a while. And she was so happy to see me. She was, like, so excited. And it's like, I won't know if, like, that cat's dead or not. I, I just don't, I, I don't know. Because, because I'm not close with my stepdad. The poor cat wanted to see me again. Both the cat wanted to see me again. And I lost my mom. Which is even harder. Her birthday was the 19th. Like I said, I think I said that already. I just have these holes that I'm trying to fill and I just cannot fill them. I'll never get, I have a stepmom, but I'll never get a type of bond that I had with my mom again. Because I was my mom. She's, even though I love my stepmom, my mom is irreplaceable. Like, biologically, she was my mom. We had similar quirks and stuff or whatever my grandma says i have her hair so um my dad said something like well because your videos online your friends aren't like being your friends and i'm like no they don't care enough about me to be my friend there's a difference it's just like it's just too much at once i I don't know how to fulfill this hole inside of me. I don't think I will be able to. It's not possible. I don't I don't know. I'm just grieving. I'm just tired of everybody leaving my life. I think that's that just sums it up. If you enjoyed this rant, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Surprisingly, I'm a comedian. Uh, I just like to vent every once in a while. And, uh, yeah. And I, I, I make music, too. But I'm more focused on the comedy. I do sing a lot of karaoke. Anyway, I'm thankful I have you guys, too. I just, I had this in for a long time and I needed to get it out. I was tired of journaling about it. I was tired of, you know, <laughs> I'm sure you guys understand. And I'll see you when you watch me again, metaphorically.